Hello everybody, it's Nice Slicers here again, back with another short review on one of the knives I own, one of the knives out of my collection. And today, as you can see, we've got a hinderer. It's the XM18 Slippy Sheep's Foot. It's got gorgeous blue G10 scales with a nice deep texture which is designed to take the oils and the sweats away from your hand. It's very grippy, but not too rough. It's uh, right hand carry tip up or tip down only, I'm afraid. Uh, it's not deep carry, but that doesn't really bother me. It's got a great lanyard hole. Um, it's got a nice stonewashed back spring, which is all chamfered. There's no sharp spots on it. A little bit of jimping there on the top, which just aids with the grip and it's not too aggressive. Um, everything's chamfered, everything's nice and smooth. Little smooth cut out there for your thumb. Stainless hardware. Um, the blade, as it's a slippy sheep's foot, obviously it's a sheep's foot blade. CPM 20 CV. Very sharp, stone washed. There you can see the blade marking there. USA made. And then there's the maker's mark just there. This thumb disc on the top, you get a little tool with it and you can move it up and down that groove so that it's just right for, for yourself, so you can personalise it for opening. I've got it just in the right spot there. It's got a, a fantastic forward finger choil, so you can choke up on it, or you can hold it there. I find that the uh, thumb disc actually helps lock the thumb in as well. <coughs> Excuse me. The good thing about the forward finger choil is when you shut it, it's not going to catch your finger, which is always a good idea. Uh, this was actually a gift from one of my subscribers, uh, one of my friends on Instagram, Chris Wolf. He doesn't have a YouTube, but he does have an Instagram. Um, I'll put, I'll link his details down below. He goes by the Three Wolves. Um, he's a great guy. There's a little filler tab there for you if you want to put tip up or tip down. I just like all the little details on this knife. It, I've had it. <coughs> Just over a week now and I've not put it down. I've used it quite a lot. I love sheep's foot blades. I think they're so, so useful. I really do. Um, as you know, I do a lot of paracording. I've been using it for my paracording. The way the blade's angled as well, it sort of angles down away from your hand. Um, so you can get that belly for chopping. It's got a gorgeous swedge up the top there, as you can see. I do like things like that. But it still comes to a nice solid tip. No play in it, left or right or up and down. No play whatsoever. Great looking knife, very very useful. UK legal. This is going to get a lot of pocket time when I get back mobile again. Let's have a quick look at some size comparisons, shall we? Uh, what we got? Bench made proper. More or less the same size, or the proper might just be a tad smaller. Um, <coughs> excuse me, it's a VV fracture. Oh, sorry. That's obviously bigger. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, yeah. Medford, Slim Midi. Yeah, it's smaller than that. It's a lot smaller, but unfortunately, this isn't UK legal. I love messing with this. Um, yeah, this this knife, obviously designed by Rick Hinderer, the XM18 series is a, a well-known series designed by Rick. Tactical knife, but they're normally locking. This is non-locking. It's a slip joint. Absolutely fantastic for UK use. Uh, and like I say, it was a gift and. <laughs> when I opened it I really couldn't believe well he told me about it first and I was uh, I was blown away absolutely blown away with, with this he didn't only send this though he sent the uh, Hinder Investigator pen as well which I'll do another short review on he got a little bit of jumping down at the bottom there look for if you're doing a reverse grip 
Yep. See what I mean? Outstanding knife. It's it's been a grail knife of mine for a long time, but they are quite expensive over here in the UK. Um, like I say, <laughs> I have some very very nice things, and I was fortunate to get it gifted to me. Um, the scales are G10, like I said. It's got stainless liners. Um, CPM 20 CV stone wash blade. Probably mentioned that already. Yeah, it's got that proprietary um, hinderer pivot there, which you need a special tool for, but I won't be messing with that. Stunning knife, absolutely stunning. Hope you've enjoyed this short review. If you have, please smash that like button. Um, don't forget to turn your notification bells on so that next time I do a video you will be notified. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe. It does help the YouTube algorithm. Hope to see you all again next time. See you later. Goodbye.